Hey everybody, welcome back to Azure Every Day. I'm Adam Jorgensen with Pragmatic Works. And today I wanna to talk to you about, should you use Cosmos DB? How do you know if you need Cosmos DB or a NoSQL solution? NoSQL. So uh, there's a couple things that are happening that are making people ask this question, right? So data volumes continue to grow. We're storing more data. We're storing more kinds of data. And we need to be able to bring that data together and analyze it. And historically, we would have built a data model, right? We would have built our tables, our relationships, and then some indexes. And we would have understood how we're going to query that data. And we would have modeled the data to line up with the best way to represent the business problem or the best performing way in a transactional system. But a lot of times now we get data and we don't know what the relationships are going to be between data that comes from different systems and those relationships evolve over time and so they need a much more uh, flexible type of solution and that's where these quote no SQL solutions come into play and that's where something like Cosmos DB has all these different modes that are great for documents and social uh, graph type solutions and there's lots of new workloads that are growing and have huge volumes of data but they're just not really great for doing uh, that work in a relational database. And so um, if you have lots of interconnected data but you don't know all the relationships ahead of time and you want to be able to have kind of a flexible schema uh, and adapt that schema, if you need to be able to do a little bit more rapid development, then Cosmos DB is something you should really check out. It's a global scale, incredibly fast, very powerful system. You can use it for very big apps or you could just get started with the one that's right in front of you. Um, you know, things like uh, scalability, lower cost, schema flexibility, sparse and semi-structured data, those are all places where, you know, Cosmos DB is, is gonna shine, among others. Um, some of the challenges, typically for NoSQL environments, are sort of limited query capability, portability can be an issue, uh, the technology is kind of rapidly evolving, but Cosmos DB has addressed a number of those. So, for example, depending upon which platform you'd like it to emulate, Mongo or, or others, um, you know, it will actually make the data show up through its API, through its, its uh, query interface like that. So you can have your apps migrate and talk to Cosmos in a way that's, you know, very fast, very seamless, uh, with really minimal or, or no uh, code changes. So the real question is, should you explore Cosmos DB? I think if you're a data person, if you're in charge of data, you should totally understand it. You should understand the pros and cons. Does it replace things like Azure Data Warehouse? No, of course not. They have different workloads, different types of solutions. And if you wanna go deeper into that, let us know. We can talk you through it in more detail. We try to keep these videos pretty short and to the point. Uh, but if you're interested in learning more about Cosmos DB, of course, check out Microsoft or give us a call. Hit us up here on YouTube or on social media and we will point you to some great resources. In the meantime, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Adam Jorgensen with Pragmatic Works, and this has been another episode of Azure Every Day.